That's a rally. The administration is looking to reopen Three Mile Island. Remember that? It's been shut for decades. Well, Harris Faulkner and the Faulkner Focus team were the first journalists to enter that shuttered facility. Harris Faulkner is back. She's in the studio here in New York City. When I look at some of the video take that you shot, mm -hmm. I see a lot of analog devices. I mean, obviously it's oh. 1970s stuff. There's no computers. So this is interesting. Um, what you don't see is that now, and it's no longer Three Mile Island, it is Crane Clean Energy Center. Okay. Right now it's infused with AI. In fact, I went into the belly of the control room, one of the um, pictures in that video, you saw him in there, and it's got like that 1970s kitchen green counter. Um, and then when you go close up, because I said that to the secretary, I, I thought it might be off-putting. He was proud of it. <laughs> he said, that's right, that's, so no one will ever know, look closer, and it's all embedded with artificial intelligence. Oh. There are all these like high-grade, newer monitors just sprinkled in, and now they're able to see what happened in 1979 with that partial meltdown that shuttered that one unit. There were two uh, unit reactors on property. We had to destroy one of them. Remember that yeah, yeah, back in 1979, sure. yeah. uh, it was close to Middletown and Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. They had to shut that down. They had a small amount of radioactive um, material leak from that plant. They didn't know how much steam. I mean, it was it was a disaster. Walter Cronkite and the rest leading their news with it back then. Oh, yeah. um, but now they've used AI to figure out what happened. And Secretary Wright said, well, that couldn't actually happen today the way it happened then because we don't have human beings right at that point going through it anymore. AI is telling us what those buttons and, and lights were telling human beings back then. But we need the people now to help us take these facilities forward and embed that. They have 500 people on, on site already at Three Mile Island, now Crane Clean Energy Center. I was shocked, Stu. How long before they bring back electric, electricity production? So this is important because it's tied to lower pricing for Americans. And, and the president is treating this kind of like Operation Warp Speed uh, they're saying 18 months. That is a tremendous short, tremendously short time. The turbines that are going to run, be run by this engine, and they let me put my hands on it. This thing is enormous. When it was shuttered in 2019 because it got defunded, basically, so that the Obama-Biden era could previously pump money into renewables. And when that was unsustainable in this country, and really around the world, I mean, mm. France is figuring it out now, right? I mean, if you don't have wind... What are you fueling with if, for your wind that you put to capture it? Like, it's not windy that day. Here on the East Coast in Pennsylvania, they've got about 196 days of sun. So solar is not going to fuel many people right. in that state, right? So uh, the secretary told me this is critical because they can bring some of these systems back online and they're partnering. The people who own the plant are Constellation and Microsoft is then going to uh, buy the energy and help fuel that whole community and 10 million people with what this can put out. 18 months, that is a short period of time. Oh, good, we have, we've got a little bit of that. Your team just told me. Okay. <laughs> Let's roll it. Roll it. Was there something that was unsafe about it in 1979 that has been figured out for today? Look, I think that was the worst day we had. But the, the point was, I think, as Chris said, no one was injured in it. We lost a big piece of equipment, and we scared a community and a generation of people. Well, that was the bad things that happened. The good thing is, like, like in our lives, your worst events sometimes lead to enormous lessons learned, and there were thousands of lessons learned from instrumentation to process, construction of these facilities that have been embraced and they ultimately turn the industry into being the safest. A lot of people, I, I think Three Mile Island, or whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. it's got a PR problem because people were really scared back in 1979. You're absolutely right. Are they still scared? Now they're going to fire it up again? They have a lot of questions. They want to know mainly if something goes wrong, how will they learn about it now? Because it was so clumsy back then. Yeah. And people felt like they were lied to and manipulated. And you could kind of understand it when you watch those old clips. And it's not that long ago. But it's long enough ago that, you know, now we get alerts on our phones. We do a whole lot of different things. But more importantly, coming out of the ownership of that, it's a different company. Back then it was Metropolitan Ed, Edison, and now it's, it's Constellation Energy. And you saw right there, that was the CEO there, that was uh, Joe Dominguez. This was back in the day. And you had to rely on what people thought and buttons that, that didn't quite work and oh. didn't see that light and it didn't measure and all of that. 
So it's better, but you have an excellent point. They've got to win the public's trust back. And you know how you do that? You employ the next generation. Young people in that area, and anecdotally here in New York, because we did some man-on-the-street interviews before I went out there, um, young people are excited about nuclear. I think you've got a little bit of that from the energy secretary. I'm sure we did. Harris, great stuff. Congratulations on a fine trip. All right. <laughs> Wish I could come Glad myself. to share it with you. Well, the Three Mile Island set the nuclear industry back a generation. It did. And now nuclear power is coming back. Right, and Good we stuff. need that because China is ahead of us in this AI race. I know I heard you, Lauren, mention this on the air a short time ago. Um, we can catch up. We can do amazing things. It's going to take bringing these plants online. They feel like they can yep. do that safely. That was a big issue when I was interviewing inside that control room. I wanted to know about that safety. I've got a follow-up question for Adam Johnson. Oh, please. Uh-oh, uh -oh, I'm going to get it now. Yeah, why oh. don't you buy small <laughs> yeah. nuclear stocks? Well, okay, so Harris is talking about uh, basically bringing an existing facility back online. They can actually do that, as Harris pointed out, in the next 18 months. For the small modular reactors, which is like taking what powers a nuclear sub and putting it next to a factory, mm -hmm. that isn't proven yet. And those companies aren't going to generate revenues for probably three to five years, earnings for five to seven. And as an investor, for me, I'm impatient. <laughs> you know who knows that? President well, Trump. That's yeah. why he wants to go back and look at these things that had been defunded, basically, right. because of all the money subsidies just cut off completely to them, including Three Mile Island, now Crane, and others across the country, because he knows what you know, right. that, that investors are going to want to see some kind of Return. ROI. Yeah, yeah, sure. All good stuff. Harris, thank you very much for being here. Oh, thanks All for good. having me.